information that review is underway. Yes, well, it's a delicate situation, Simon. Uh, the chief executive's visit was brief, and he was accompanied by one of the company's lawyers. But he did apologise for the wording of TVNZ's initial statement uh, that said Mr Santa Maria was dealing with a family emergency. Uh, Mr Powell didn't explain why the term family emergency was used, but he said it was inappropriate, and as chief executive, he was sorry. Uh, he also said he fully respected the editorial independence of One News. Can a reaction from newsroom staff, Nicole? Well, I think it's eased some of the tension that has built up in the newsroom around this episode. Uh, it really has been a very long and stressful week for staff here. Um, we've been working with separation between senior editorial staff and reporters and producers who've been working on this story. Uh, that's not something we're used to doing. Uh, it's been an unusual occurrence, but we appreciate that it is necessary um, in these circumstances. Um, as for where we go from here, well, we're waiting for the terms of reference for that, for, from that independent review, so we can see where we take the story from here. Ten, Akwe, Nicole, thank you very much. Actress Amber Heard says losing the defamation trial to Johnny Depp is a setback for women, hurting their ability to speak out. Depp took his ex-wife to court over a newspaper article in which she implied he abused her. The trial, featuring dramatic testimony and video evidence, gripped America for weeks. Our US correspondent Anna Vince Francis reports. After six weeks of tears and tawdry details, it all came down to this. The statement was false. Answer, yes. Question, the statement has a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp. Answer, yes. Amber Heard found to have defamed actor and ex-husband Johnny Depp after she wrote about being the victim of